so my name is Gord McDonald and I'm an artist in Halifax and I was asked to do a video uh, mostly for kids and I thought about when I was a kid when I was six or seven and <clears throat> what was happening and I was interested in drawing when I was really young probably four or five and when I was in grade one I was six years old and I noticed that most of the kids in the class were drawing people pretty much like this. So it was just a line. There's the legs and the hands. Some people would put hands on them too. <laughs> um, but I noticed that I was drawing something a little different. I was drawing them more like this. And what I noticed is that I could draw a square and I could represent the body with this square and the other parts and the arms each had two sides, the body had two sides, the legs had two sides, and maybe the neck had uh, like this, so the neck had two sides and so on. So <clears throat> what I was thinking was, what would I like to know if I was six years old again, what would I like to, to learn um, and have somebody teach me? So what I learned was, what I'd like to teach is how to hold a pencil and you notice that the lines that I made are very very light I'm not holding the pencil and drawing like this I'm holding it very lightly and these are what I call whisper lines and whisper lines you can make all kinds of things and just keep going over with a very light line and and when you get what you're happy with then you can come back and you can draw something a little more a little more solid and I think it's really important to do that because you can place it on a page and you can draw what's underneath things so if I wanted to draw on top of this there's my whisper line and then I can come in and I can I can maybe draw a t-shirt so there's a collar and maybe the t-shirt comes down a little more and you can do this with everything you can do it with cars and fish and vases and trees and everything you can start with a whisper line a very wide very light very wide line and I can come in if I want and I can erase what was underneath so it's kinda like I'm tracing my own drawings so I do a very light drawing and then when I'm happy with where everything is I can tr I can erase those out and uh, I think that's a, a pretty important thing to to learn along with learning that everything can pretty much be broken down into three little shapes So it's me again, and we're going to do some drawings of sharks with the help of my friend here. So I'm going to start and I'll talk as I draw. So you remember me talking about whisper lines? So I'm going to draw some whisper lines. Everyone. Oh. <laughs> These aren't whisper lines. He's, he's getting in the way. He can't draw very well. <laughs> Maybe he'll come back later. Okay, so let's do it this way. <clears throat> so there's some whisper lines. And <clears throat> once I've done my whisper lines, I can join them together in a nice nice long line you can start to see what's happening and do you remember the the shapes that I the basic shapes the triangle the square and the circle we can make a circle an oval as well <clears throat> now I can if I want I can erase these these tell me where I want my big lines and then I know how 
how sharks are. There's a circle for his eye. He's got black eyes like a doll's eyes. <laughs> and and he's got kind of a funny looking thing <clears throat> for a bottom jaw. And that's where the teeth come out. We'll draw those in a second. Now he has to breathe and he has to breathe underwater. So we'll put those in there. I don't know how many there are. You can find out <clears throat> if you look on the online. So let's draw some triangles. So so there's a, a fin here, there's a triangle, and then there's the important one which comes up here. That's his, his, uh, his main fin. And then a lot of sharks have a couple more. And then they got a, a couple down there, just triangles. And then we can draw a tail. And look, there's a there's another triangle there, kind of a triangle, and another one there. And uh, that's basically a shark. So let's erase some of these lines. And uh, I've got a couple of seconds left, and we can draw some triangles for his teeth. And. Uh, He's about to bite something. Maybe there's a little, there's a little fish here. And he's got, he's looking behind him. 